isang uh, kagalakan para tingin ko. By the way, isama ko po yung aking kaisa-isang asawa. Wala nang iba. Si Adeline. Okay, pwede ko mayroon si Adeline. Maraming po salamat. Huwag ko kayo mag-ilala. Uh, tinatanong ako nung ano, kung ilan daw ako o na binuto. Sabi ko, ihikli ako na. Okay. Si La Misha ang sasalitan sa atin. Right? But anyway, gusto kong humingi muna ng tulong tayo sa Panginoon, tayo ng langit. Father in heaven, today we declare your presence and we declare that each one of us will be, will have an open heart so that Lord, when we receive your word, magiging buhay ito sa buhay namin. And thank you, Lord, for this uh, wonderful conference that we have in Doha. And thank you, Lord, for the pastors. Thank you for Pastor Cesar and Bishop Oriel for our leaders. And thank you for all the pastors here. In Jesus' name, Amen. Okay. Uh, eight times na ho pa nagpunta rito sa Doha. As a matter of fact, I started introducing the vision 2008 when Pastor Ding CCIP was here. And uh, siguro hindi pa yun ang tamang panahon to say that the vision will go through. Yun ang sinasabi natin, we have to be sensitive on what the Lord is doing. The church that I'm serving now in Las Piña City, one time, ako okay, yung sasalita, sabi ng mga tao, ilan na ang member ng church mo? Sabi ko, mga 30, 40. You know, our brotherhood is 118 years na sa Philippines. The Churches of Christ and Christian Churches originated in 1901. At doon po kami nagsimula. For many years, hindi ko nakita yung sabi natin na yung paggamit sa akin ng Panginoon na hindi full. Kaya, Nagsimula akong mag-search. As a matter of fact, I was exposed in many conferences, convention in our brotherhood, sa Filipino-American Convention, sa Virginia. One time when I spoke there, pakatapos ko magsalita, na-overwhelm ako ng 3,000 numbers. Pagbaba ko, yung professor ko sa seminary asked me, that was a great sermon. How's your church in the Philippines? Bigla akong nalukot and I cry out. Sir 30 pa lang eh. Tapos nagsasalita ka sa maraming tao. I don't have any guts to say. Wala. And I thank God for the G2 vision. When the G2 vision started in our church, bago po ako magpunta sa buong Pilipinas at sa iba't ibang lugar, I situated my church. I don't have any intention that the church will be my big church. My intention is the church that I'm serving is a growing church. Big church is different from a growing church. If we have a growing church, to tell you frankly, magkakaroon ng maraming yan. Tao. Because you are continuously growing. Masabi mo sa katabi mo, you belong to a growing church. Sa G12, hindi po palakihan. Tiyagaan ito. Patience is a marathon. Sinasabi ko kay Pastor Marlon Tanina, ang G12, marathon ito. Matagalan itong takbuhan. Hindi ito yung mabilisan. But I want to share with you, Nehemiah, so yun nun naman ang introduction ko, in Nehemiah chapter 3, verse 1. This is the the verse that I want to share with you, actually the full chapter, but I want to go to the first, uh, chapter 1. Eliashib, the high priest and his fellow priests, went to work. Say it with me, went to work. And they rebuilt the ship gate, and they dedicated it and set it, the doors in place, building as far as the tower of the hundred which they dedicated, and as far as the tower of Hanane. I want to put this word in my heart because when you do the vision, you have to start to work. When you start to work, victory is coming. 
But if you will not stop to uh, start to work, there will be no victory. Because in this word, he says, See, Eliashib and the high priest and his fellow priest went to work. The vision means work. You are not, I am not. Listen, I am not designed to maintain a church, but I am designed to make a multitude. Yeah. Uh, do we believe that lahat ng ito ay magsisimula sa work? When we put our eyes, we put our, uh, we, well, when we put our eyes on our work, we put our strength. Because we need focus. If you don't have any focus in this vision, wala po kayo mararating. Baka pag nasa gitna ka na lang, hihingaling ka na. Say the person to you, sabi mo, sa katabi mo, focus. So importante po natin yung focus. Kung may pangitain ng Diyos, mas dan mo at pakukuha mo. If God has a dream for you, you have to focus and the dream will come true. And that's what Nehemiah did. Hindi lang nga si Nehemiah, si Elisha is a high priest where he put his strength. You want in this vision? Put your heart on it. You want me in the vision? Put your strength. Victory is possible despite of impossible circumstances in our life. When we put our strength, victory is coming. We must move, listen to this, we must move one at a time. One at a time. Ako po ay biktima na na-overwhelm po po sa vision. Sa sobra po ma-overwhelm, ginawa ko lahat na magagawa ko in the long run. Kinapos ako. But this is my lesson in the vision. You have to move on. Put, uh, you have to do the vision and move one at a time. It takes passion to be a finisher. It takes passion to be a finisher. One of our core values is you must have a spiritual passion in your life. Important po sa atin because it takes commitment to move one at a time. I repeat that. It takes commitment to move one at a time. Hindi po itong shortcut ng vision. Hindi ito pa na di madalian. It takes what? Kaya nga sinasabi ni Bishop kagabi, kinakailangan meron ka system, meron ka dapat isipin, hindi yung po kinakita mo, ay gagawin mo. But we need the system. And even Jesus Christ had a system. Right? Do sa 5,000. Ano sinabi ni Jesus Christ do sa 5,000? Bose, wala tayo pagkain. Ano yun ito? Bumili ka? Wala ho rito eh. Okay. Sino meron baon? Sino nagbigay ng baon? Dalawa ulit. Dalawang tinapay, tsaka tat, na, na, dalawang isda, tsaka limang pandi manila. And then he said, kasi ito yung system ni Jesus Christ na ito. Nung pinag-pray niya, sinabi ba niya, o sige, na nga lahat, biglang, pwede mo niya gawin yun? Eh, kaso may system eh. Ang ginawa niya, tinawag niya yung labing dalawa, and then he said, distribute this. So there is a system. In this vision, there is a system. That's why he says it, it takes commitment to move one at a time. Our commitment is based on our character, not on our emotions. Commitment is immovable. Our commitment is not based on our talent, but on our gifts that the Lord has given us. That's why I do believe that if you make a commitment, hindi ka pwedeng gumalaw ng kagalawin ng kaway. Now, I want to put this thing. Nehemiah is a perfect example of a leader who is very patient. In this vision, you need patience. Number one, if you have to want to go into the vision, number one, you have to put your heart on the task on the task and that is we call dedication if you will not put your work on the task wala po yan hindi magkakaroon ng alin ng reality a vision you are right for a change you are right for a change ang doha po ay tamang tama ngayon na kinakailangan magbago mababago Pilipinas kung tayo muna ay magbabago Salamat sa isang amen. Amen mo ba? Amen. 
Sabi mo sa katabi mo, umayos ka. <laughs> Hindi po tayo magbabago. Ipuyuan. Kat ah, tayo ay eh, magbabago. It's only God can change us. Because the vision is what? Is for a change. When you learn enough, you need to advance. When you learn enough, you need to advance. If you are what? If you receive many things, you need to advance. Therefore, vision is always in the heart. Hindi ko mararating siguro yung bisan kinuwenta namin ng kasawa how many disciples that we have already. So we almost have 6,000 disciples all over the Philippines. As in, nasabi ko sa kanila, bago ko magpunta sa buong Pilipinas, I see to it that my church is an example. I encourage you ang bawat simbahan niyo palakihin niyo. At kapag nakita ng Panginoon na ang church niyo yung lumanag, napakadali ng ingganyuhin yung mga tao ayaw ng chico. Dahil naniniwala ko kung meron kang ipakikita kweba, may mangyayari. Sabi mo nga sa katabi mo, panahon mo na ngayon. Sabi mo, para walang commitment yan, nasabi mo, panahon mo na ngayon. Ayan. Ngayon, number one, to put your heart on the task, you have one, to eliminate the bad memories. Kalimutan mo na yung nakaraan. Kalimutan, magbubon ka na. Right? Nakita mo po, para akong magbubon sa vision, kalimutan ko na yung nakaraan. Alam nyo, ako pinakamagaling mag-maintain ng church. Doon po sa Sampalok, pag pinag-maintain ko na ako, 300 church, not 300 members, minintain ko yan for almost 12 years. Pumasok ako 300, lumabas ako 300 pa rin. <laughs> Sabihin mo sa katabi mo, ang galing mag-maintain ni Pastor Ko. Ay! Ha? Minintain ko lang yung church eh. Kasi pag, pag minintain ko, that's trabaho. So, I did not put my heart on what the Lord wants, wants me to do. Expect to work. Let me say, ang maganda kay Nehemiah, meron siyang expectation. In this vision, you must have a clear expectation that you will finish. You will finish the vision. At this has time, makita ng Panginoon na nasaturate na natin ang buong Pilipinas at ang buong mundo. Hindi ka pang Qatar lang, hindi ka pang Pilipinas lang. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, pangkalawakan ka pa. <laughs> Kaya ako, pag ako nilano sa Las Piñas, hindi ko sinasabing pastor ako ng Las Piñas, pastor ako ng Pilipinas. Amen? Dahil naliniwala ako kasi merong magyayari sa mission. Expect to work to be finished. Nehemiah finished the work in 52 days. To set goal. If you have a goal, you want to do great things for the Lord. But if you don't have goal, walang great things sa mangyayari. God have a global plan, a strategy, a strategic person, and you are the one who is the strategic person. Kayo yun. Ako yun. We are to finish the unfinished work evangelism and making disciples. Tama yung sinabi ni Bishop Pagabe, if you want to do the vision, number one, and you disciple ka ba? And to so winning ka ba? Nagsiselgo ka ba? Simple lang po. Hindi sinasabi po na yun ang ating leader. We have to finish the yeah, unfinished work of evangelism in making disciples. Number three, exercise your freedom to win the multitude. In 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 19, he says here, 1 Corinthians 9, 19, Though I am free and belong to no one, I have made myself a slave to everyone to win as many as possible. Look at this. Though I am free and belong to no one, and then he said here, to God. I have made myself slave to everyone. If you want to become a leader, you need to show. Leadership is certain, but I need to go in primary control. What is leadership? 
ang dami nila sinagot. Isa halos nila. Leadership is influence, influence, so, so, so. Sabi ko, that is according to Maxwell. But according to the Lord, what is leadership? Leadership is serving. Pag hindi nyo nakuha yung survey, mahinapang po yan. Kasi magiging dominatan ka yan. Dominante ka You need to, want to understand what is survey. You cannot slave to many if you belong to Jesus and to a team. You choose to win the multitudes and disciple the few. Exchange for greater things. Nakikita ko na when you do the vision, you will exchange for greater things. Like the poor widow. Yung mga mayayama at binigay ang kanilang kayamanan. But the poor widow, she gave his poverty to the Lord. Nung binigay niya yung kahirapan niya kay Lord, siya ay pinagpala. At yan ang sinasabi natin. Other gave their wealth, but the poor widow gave her poverty to be blessed by the Lord. Lastly, put your trust on your team. Teamwork makes team worth. Teamwork makes team worth. Mahalaga ang team mo. Mahalaga ang primary child mo. Huwag mo siyang ilaglag. Alagaan mo, i-decide mo. And how many of you believe that if you will what? Trust mo mo. You are in your team. You will have to build relationship. Wag mo hiyain ang leader mo. Supportahan mo yung leader mo. A team will bring the message. But remember this. Subukan mo. Sipin yun lang. Just for seconds. Kung namatay si Jesus Christ ng malam twin, ano mang yayari sa mundo? Alam mo sa inyo kapaya pa. Tapos. <laughs> Sipo, mamatay si Jesus Christ na walang twin. Makakarating ba sa Karatan? Sa Karatan? Makakarating ba sa Pilipinas? I thank God because of the twin. They were empowered. Huwag na kayong magreklamo sa dose. Dose nga lang yan. Eh, kung 300 binigay sa inyo, Lord. Eh, mas magaling ka pa kay Lord. Ako, mamamatay ako may dose ako. Alam ko mamatay na walang dose. Tama yung sabi ni Bishop eh. Ang motivation niya, kamatayan. Pero ito Bishop, mas malapit ako sa kamatayan. 64 na ako eh. Bata ka pa sa akin eh. Ha? Pero ito tatandaan natin. Kung meron kang dose, mamatay ka man. Hindi mamamatay ang pangarap ng Diyos. Eh. Yan palakpak ninyo. Yung mga palakpak na wala kang dose, dapat mas malakas ka ba? Kailan man, hindi ako mamamatay. Alam mo, tinaningan ako ni Lord. Tinaningan ako ng doktor. Kaya, alam mo, pastor, may panin ka niya. Praise the Lord. Ilan? 100 years. Tumawa naman ako sa bigot na limang 99 naman. Sabi mo, alam mo, ang sinong may dose, mas dahil ng alin, Uh, ano yung endorse mo? Lalo nga lalawa. Ako ini-imagine ko bakit gabi. Siguro kung walang dosis si Jesus Christ, ano ang mangyayari sa mundo? Right? Jesus prayed for His disciples not to be alone. Our team is a word carrier. You must be a word carrier before you must be a vision carrier. Hindi ko inaakin ang vision carrier unless I carry the Word of God. Kaya nga, ang, ang leadership is a mix of grace and truth. I repeat that, church. Leadership is a what? Is a mix of grace and truth. Pag masyado kang gracious, aabusuhin ka ng follower mo. Pag masyado ka naman, masyadong truthful, masasaktan ang alin ang mga tao. Alam nyo, natutungan mo po yan. Pag masyado pong gracious, aabusuhin ka ng mga follower mo. Mabait ka eh. 
Eh, ang, ang problema, yung babait, hindi pupunta ng langit. Tama? O sabi mo sa kanabi mo, hindi ka dapat mabait, dapat masunurin ka. Sabi mo, no, no, no. rito ang uh, pupunta ng langit. Alam mo, yung mga mababait, maiiwan niya sa lupa. Ang tanda niya. Pero ito, tandaan niyo, yung ali, yung masunurin, malayo mararating mo, kamalit! I repeat that, leadership is what? It's a mix of grace and truth. At puro tayo grace, puro to hallelujah, pikit ang mata. Pero mayroon pang biblical foundation ang ginagawa mo. The truth is there. John chapter 1 verse 14. Dito ako magtatapos. Ang sabi niya, can you see man? John chapter 1 verse 14. Pati, yan ang technology. Kita niyo, bilis. Ngayon, sabi nga. Very fast. Kita mo? Gusto mo, sasabihin ko na lang, okay? Isa. Okay, basahin na lang natin, okay? Ang maganda mo yun ito, si Jesus Christ, sabi niya. The Word became one and made His dwelling among us. So we are what? Jesus Christ came here and He is what? He is God and became flesh. Amen. Biblical to John. And then He said, We have seen His glory and the glory of the one and the only King from the Father. Full of what? Full of what? Grace and truth. Jesus Christ was full of grace and truth. Kung walang grace si Jesus Christ, tinigok na niya si Judas. Pero mo pinaabot pa niya ng 3 years? Eh talagang destiny na niya yun eh. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, God is gracious talaga sa iyo. <laughs> Di ba? Di ba? You know ha? Grace and truth. Eh ito pa. Si Peter, mas maraming, mas maraming kasalanan kay Lord. Pero gracious pa rin si Lord. Diba? Una-una. Dapat nga, mas malaki yung grace niya. Si Peter, kaysa rin yung Budas eh. Si Peter, ang number naman niya. Hinahat langan niya yung vision niya. Hindi ka mamakatay. Hanggat, eh, teka muna, sabi niya, huwag mong hahat langan. Satanas, umunta ka rito sa likod. Alam mo, kapag hinahat naman niya yung vision ng Panginoon, baka masabihan ng Panginoon, tumito ka sa likod ko. Huwag mong hat langan ng vision. Tama mo ba yan? That God is gracious. Ito pa matindi. Si Pedro, tinulugan si Lord na nananalangin. Very offending mo yun. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, ginagawa ko rin yan minsan. <laughs> Nananalangin yung pastor ko, tulog ako. <laughs> Natatawa ka sa ginagawa natin eh. <laughs> Dino rito na nagagawa na nagpe-prayer, nagpe-prayer fasting with church si Council at ang tulog mo. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, huwag mong hantayin yung truth. <laughs> and this may grace pa rin yun. Kaya gusto ko ito eh. Leadership is a combination of grace and truth. If you are gracious, you will change. If you are truthful, you will be free. Kaya kapag ikaw ay vision bearer na sinasabi mo, you must be what? You must be gracious and truth. Dapat nasa din na sa Bible yan eh. Kaya nga, na si Jesus Christ sabi niya, kung gusto mo maging disciple, kinakailangan, isacrifice mo ito. Ang loyalty mo hindi sa pamilya mo, sa akin. Ang dami lumayo. Ang naiwan, labing dalawa. Ano sabi niya sa labing dalawa? Kayong labing dalawa, aalis pa rin ba kayo? Ano sabi ni Tita? Kung kami aalis, nasa iyo sa liman ng buhay. Pag umalis ka kay Lord, isa lang ang pupuntahan mo. Kanino? Pag umalis ka kay Lord, kanino ka pupunta? Isa ka na, sayo nyo pa sabihin eh. Dalawa, dalawa lang naman ang pipilihan mo eh, di ba? Pag umalis ka kay Lord, at umalis ka na. Kaya importante po, dito ako magtatapos. In order for you to do the vision, you must be a balanced person. You must be graceful, and you must be 
Kaya minsan maraming nagagalit si Dito. Masyado tayong truthful. Pero ito tanda mo, may grace pa rito. May the Lord bless you. That's why gusto ko si Nehemiah because of his patience. In the vision, we really need patience. Patience. Put your work, put your heart in what you are doing for the Lord. Kapag hindi mo nilagay yung puso mo sa ginagawa mo sa vision, baka hindi ka pa makatapos. Sino po na bebles tayo dito sa araw nito? Amen. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, salamat, meron ka ng grace, meron ka pang truth. Kung hindi tayo puro grace, magbasa tayo ng Bible. Amen po ba? Ang naniniwala po tayo na lahat tayo ay meron ganitong pag-ugali. I want to end up this. Let us avoid cutting corners or making shortcut to accomplish the goal and purpose of the Lord. Step by step, we have to do it. Walang shortcut sa equipping track. We need to consolidate this episode. Huwag kang mag-shortcut. Impatient is an, an obstacle to a finisher. Do not follow your mood, but obey what God wants us to do. Do not follow your mood. In this vision, you need patience. Salamat na lang ginagod po kayo pa rin. Ako po yung anak na lahat ng pinagagawa sa akin ng nanay ko, sinusuway ko. My family is one of the richest family in Parañaki City. Kitang-kita ko ang dami ng pera mo. Pero nung bumaksak yung kabuhayan, yung mother ko, yung father ko, dahil ako ang bunso, ako lahat nakasagap ng kahirapan. Kasi menopausal baby po ako. Dalawa lang naman ang pupuntahan ng menopausal baby. Maayos at hindi maayos. Mabuti na lang napunta ako bisat dun sa kamaayos. Eh may buba. Kasi kung hindi ako maayos, salamat na lang sa vision, sa G12 vision, inaayos pang inaayos ni Lord. Eh may buba. Dahil ginamit ni Lord yung G12 vision. Sino maniniwala na may po sa sabi mo, ay na, four, four years old na ako, di pa ako naglalakad eh. Bibili na nga ako na wheelchair ng nanay ko. Sabi ng nanay ko, wala na akong ipag-aaral sa'yo. Kaya, anak, pwede ba mag-seminaryo ka na lang kasi libre eh. Dati, sama-sama na loob ko, pero meron pa ng purpose ng Diyos sa akin. Kaya ako naging pastor, dahil pinag-pray ako ng nanay ko for many years, na maging pastor ako. Nagpunta kami dito mag-asama to minister the couples. We talk about families, we talk about couples. Kasi mahirap po ang vision kung iniiwanan mo ang pamilya mo. Punta ka sa church namin, pag ako nagsalita, asawa ko, dalawang anak ko, manugan ko, apo ko, nasa harapan. Hindi nagiging busy yan, sumasamba lahat yan. Dahil ang dapat magunang maniwala sa iyo, asawa mo. At kailanman hindi ko iniwan sa ministry ng asawa mo. Gaya na sinasabi ko, ang taas ng spirituality ko, andito yung asawa mo. Inaaway ako ng asawa ko. Sino rito nakaka, nakakaranas na inaaway ka ng asawa mo, babae? Napakainitado yan. Pero nung ginawa ko, bumaba ako. Inakay ko nga ng asawa ko. Let's go. How's your family? How's your spouse? How's your children? Ang alam mo, sa leaders, hindi sila yung exposed na siya, pero bumubuo po sila ng leader. Doon tayo magsisimula. Hindi ako pwedeng tumayo ng ganyan. Gaya na sinasabi ni Bishop, you bring your family. I thank God. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you so much. Because you are a God who gave us grace and truth. Thank you for the vision. Thank you for this, this conference. That through the leadership of every pastor, I do 
believe, Lord, that you will continue to bless every local congregation, every church, that they will see their church grow, growing, growing. This is time your name will be glorified in our church. Thank you and bless the conference for the rest of the day. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you.